Hi, my name is Adalvi. We are live on Glory Queen of the Rosary Hospital. We're talking on water yam. As we all know, water yam is different from other yam and it has so many nutrients. Dr. Ife Yumwa Ezik is going to tell us much about water yam and the essence of eating natural food. As we all know, in the olden days, women eat natural food and the case of infertility wasn't much then. So I would like her to throw more light on this and explain to us on how to go about it and those nutrients that what I am contain. Dr. Celestine, I feel you are pleased. You're welcome, please. Throw Thank more you light very on much. This. Hi, friends. Yeah, this is what I am. Under normal circumstances, you will look at it as if it is a ordinary yam. No, it's water yam. The difference between the water yam and the ordinary yam is that the ordinary yam has starch, while the water yam has no starch. And uh, as a matter of fact, in the olden days, our people used to eat more of natural food than synthetic food, artificial food, fast food. And uh, we are focusing attention on this water yam today in respect of uh, how you can use water yam to procure multiple egg production that will lead to multiple beds, like twins, uh, triplets, quadruplets, and so on and so forth. And uh, from past experience of our ancestors, some part of Nigeria, they are prone to having multiple beds, more than other parts of uh, Nigeria. And uh, the Yoruba axis as the, the highest so far in the history of twin beds, in the history of multiple pregnancy beds so far. Then this water yam has a lot of things like uh, vital oxygen and uh, other mineral salts and uh, that makes it what it is. This is just the yam. So this yam, as you're looking at it, the power that makes it medicine is behind the skin. Behind the skin is where you see the phytooxyestrogen and some other minerals that came up with it from nature. And uh, if you cut it out and then get it dried properly, they, you can put it, convert it into the kind of local food like here that is called the uh, amala. So that amala is what we eat. But naturally, people that eat natural food, they tend to have good health because too much of artificial food, synthetic food, like cake, biscuits, uh, fast food, uh, meat pie, bread, and all those things, when you eat a lot of them, you see that these days you produce a lot of uh, fibroid. You, you get cases of fibroid on the high rate, cases of uh, endometriosis on the high rate, is a, is a result of artificial food that you eat. So uh, we are what we eat, as a matter of fact. Exactly. So because we are what to eat, the people that eat more of this yam, that is water yam, they tend to produce lots and lots of twins in the society. But in Nigeria, there are some tribes that produce twins so much, there are some tribes that don't. Uh, and uh, we used to have it as a kind of story that because they were not taking care of twins in the olden days, their future generation don't give birth to twins so much again. But uh, the Yoruba people were taking care of twins. They, they see it as blessing from God. Some tribes in uh, Anambra and Borne, they see it as a cause in the olden days. And because of it, they, they dispose them when they are born in a bad way. And then the rate of uh, having twins are not much now. Okay. Uh, my sister, my presenter, my producer, <laughs> you are a twin girl mm -hmm. and you have a twin sister. Okay. Can you shed more lights on this matter? That's why you are here with me. <laughs> well, actually, um, what I am is very, very good, as we all know. And you've been said it now that it's good to eat natural food, mm -hmm. that artificial food do suppresses uh, the immune system. It's not good to eat artificial food. By eating water yam, it plays major role in uh, multiplying uh, cells. cells and 
uh, you know, uh, it, it helps in uh, multiple beds, and so on and so forth. What makes it produce kind of enzyme that uh, leads to it's multiple beds? Is the phyto estrogen? Okay, uh, it contains quite like on other yam that do what not other absorb. way can we produce this uh, water yam like well, in the calabar and this? Well, some people do slice it, you know, prepare it, grate it, prepare it with a lot of uh, they season it very well with crayfish, perinkle, and the rest of them, and eat it like it. <laughs> and what is in there? <laughs> Okay, that's where we are. So, how can we get your contact? My name is Dr. Ife Yuma Celestina Ezeke of number 18 Chibuzo Close, Meva Mokoko, by Mechanic Bus Stop or Church Bus Stop, Lagos, Nigeria, West Africa. My phone numbers are 080 you can join us on YouTube at Glory Queen of Rosary Videos. You join us on the Facebook, Facebook business page, and then a WhatsApp page, WhatsApp business. Have a beautiful weekend. Bye-bye. Water yam is an antioxidant noted for its role in the prevention of coronary heart diseases, some cancers, and premature aging. Water yam could therefore be contributing significantly to the total nutrient intake of its consumers especially that of those in the major producing areas where consumption is relatively high, the antioxidants in water yams help to reduce damage by free radicals in the body and slow down the effects of aging. They also have anti-inflammatory properties which help to reduce the risk of chronic diseases. The vitamin C in water yam also helps in wound healing and bone growth. Dioscoria alida also known as purple yam, ube, or greater yam, among many other names, is a species of yam. The tubers are usually a vivid violet purple to bright lavender in color, but some range in color from cream to plain white. Twins are common in the Yoruba ethnic group that dominates this part of Nigeria. A 1970s study by a British gynecologist found that around 50 sets of twins were born out of every 1,000 births in the southwest, one of the highest rates of twin births in the world. Research into multiple births carried out at Lagos's University Teaching Hospital has suggested that a high level of a chemical found in the Yoruba women and the peelings of the tuber could account for the high level of multiple births.